just keeps turning on and off. See, it turned off. And then it's gonna come out again right away. See, it comes back on. Yeah. Hey guys, let's go and see what's going on here. So I have two HVAC system. This is for downstairs and that one's for upstairs. So let me start here first. I replaced this two years ago and before I had four ton unit and I got it replaced with a five ton unit. I replaced both the inside furnace as well as the outside compressor uh, unit. And that was for $5,500. Before they replaced it, it lasted 30 years. And I'll come back to on how I managed to keep it going for 30 years. Now this unit here, they're both carrier. Before it was carrier and now it's also carrier. Uh, this unit is about 20 years old. And on very hot days or very cold days, the, the unit runs just fine. Uh, the heat and the AC works just fine, turns on and off just fine. The only problem I'm having is the blower, when it's supposed to shut down after running AC or heat, it will shut down and then moments later, it will turn back on again. And then it will run very briefly, maybe about a minute and then try to shut down again. And then it cannot, and then it starts right back up. So it just kind of repeats itself. And that's been going on for two years. And I had uh, three different technicians come out and take a look, and that could not pinpoint the problem. And in fact, that could not even offer me what they could replace to, you know, try to fix it. So the only thing that I could suggest is to replace the whole thing, you know, just like this, right? Replace both inside and outside. I almost wanted to fix the last issue I had here, but I figured, okay, 30 years, I got enough life out of it. So I was willing to do that. At the time they were doing this, they suggested to uh, do this also for, I think it was less than 4,000, like 3,800 or something like that. But right now the latest quote I had was $8,000 uh, due to the uh, uh, inflation. So at some point I know I have to, but for the longest time I had uh, American Home Shield, the home warranty, and that's how I got this to continue to run for 30 years. Basically every year, every couple of years, some minor problem would prevent it from running. The American Home Show was assigned a technician. They would come out and they just replace the part. And typically I only paid like, a, you know, I think I used to pay like 60 bucks and then it gradually went up to like 75 bucks per visit and that's all I did. I got the American Home Shield because I thought at some point that would just replace the entire system. But the uh, I asked multiple technicians that come out will they ever replace it and both of them said likely not um, they've not seen one get a uh, complete system get replaced because systems are very modular and usually it's only you know just one part, particular part that goes wrong so you can just replace that and then you can you know keep it going and he, one of them joked and said you know you can probably keep it going for 100 years if you just keep replacing broken parts but after hearing that, I canceled the uh, American Home Show uh, because if not gonna, the only reason I got it was I thought they would replace the entire system. So I canceled it, uh, what, two, three years ago? Uh, because, you know, there's a, like a 60 bucks, I think, monthly payment. And plus, you have to pay 75 bucks for every visit. So I did some calculation and, uh, you know, obviously, they made more money from me than all the service combined that I pay for it. So... Now, coming back on this, um, when the second technician came out, he said, let's try the uh, the capacitor. Uh, but capacitor is really to, to help to start the motors, not really to stop it. But I figure, you know, the capacitor is old enough and uh, he tested it and it was, it was starting to lose power. So I let him do it. And I think that was just, the, he felt bad coming out charging like, you know, 160 bucks uh, for like, 15 minutes of looking so i think he, he needed to do something so he, you know he did that um so that didn't solve the problem so the third person uh it was a, a couple of technicians that came out together they um 
I couldn't pinpoint it. And uh, but by then I had done a lot of research, and I suspected uh, either I forgot the name of it, some kind of a, a, a fan relay switch or sensor. Um, I keep mentioning it, but they couldn't figure out where that part is because this unit is so old and they had not worked on this. So next thing I suggested was to uh, uh, you know consider re replacing the motherboard, and um, they said you know that's actually a good try because um, so but. The problem was they were gonna charge me four to five hundred, and they said it might be very difficult to find the the replacement motherboard. Well, like I said, I had already done a lot of research and already found the board uh, at a local HVAC store. So I didn't buy it yet, but I already had the price quote. So uh, I told them I can get it for you know I can get it for like hundred twenty bucks. So uh, actually, they took a lunch break and waited for me, and I went and got the part, and they came back and put the new motherboard in, and that fixed the problem. So I saved what eight thousand? Uh, well, maybe not eight thousand because hundred twenty for the part, and I paid uh, two hundred. Dollars uh, for them to replace the, uh, the the motherboard. So anyway, almost eight thousand dollars I saved. Now, can I get this keep this system going forever? No, because as you can see, <laughs> the drying pan is rusting and bottom of it, that unit is kind of rusting. So I mean, it's one of these days it'll have to get replaced. But right now everything is super expensive due to the inflation. So let me see if I can get it going for. I don't know, you know, a few more years until, you know, if we have a uh, recession and things, all the prices start to come down, you know, somewhat. It's probably never going to go back to 4,000 level again, but, you know, if it can come back down to five, 6,000, you know, then that may be the time. So just want to share that with you guys. Okay, so when the system, the blower is continuously, uh, hold on, I got to be careful uh, going down the staircase here. Whenever the blower is uh, continuously turning on and off, um, this is my switch to the downstairs unit, and this is the switch to the upstairs unit. So whenever the, the blower continues to stop and start, I just turn this off for usually about 30 minutes to an hour, and that seems to reset everything, and everything runs normally again. And you know, that can go on for sometimes days or weeks. Uh, uh, you know, or sometimes it, it can happen in a matter of six hours later. So then I have to constantly open up this attic access and turn this on and off, which is very inconvenient. Anyway, after the motherboard was uh, replaced six to eight weeks ago, it's it's been shutting off just fine. So hopefully it'll last. Lastly, let me show you how I found the control board part number. All I did was just remove the uh, two outer covers and then use the smartphone to kind of scan around the control board and I was able to locate the uh, part number. I then googled and found the matching picture and I compared it just to make sure it's same. I then called the local HVAC supply store and the first one I called had more than 10 in stock so they are not too hard to find even though they're 20 years old and they're not too expensive. So thanks for watching and hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.